Hello there, and we're all set to go here at the Pre-Zero Arena in Zinsheim. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Hoffenheim facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. Well, 3-5-2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing-backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair, but they need to dominate that central area. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Torgan Azar starts with Marco Reus out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And now they get the ball rolling. Debu. Beautifully disguised ball. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. Well, every football coach likes to have a versatile forward in his ranks. Andrei Kramaric is certainly one such player. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. Failed to keep hold of it. And there to intervene. Making progress is Royce and options around him. Excellent passing. Careless in possession. Brandt. On to Holland. And a goal to give them the lead. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, they're on the scent of something positive, but really sticking to their task defensively. Holland. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? 
and he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Excellent ball over the top. Azar. It's an opportunity. Brandt. Marco Reus. Holland. Can he take advantage? Oh, blocked it. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Can they extend their lead? In it goes! Coley converted! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Akpoguma. Can they trouble the opposition this time? That's a nice looking ball. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Trying to pick out a teammate. Smuggled away. And they could get one back here. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, as you can see, Dortmund have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Meunier play towards the back post and well, they haven't overcome all their difficulties and Bellingham Holland and a goal what a magnificent display it's such a one-sided contest here Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Rice, Azar, chance to play it in, 
Holland. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Munas Dabur. Geiger has it. Kramaric. It is to be a throw in. Chance to finish. And in. Oh, yes. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. <laughs> Underway again with the score at 3-1. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. His fate lies with the referee who booked him earlier. And off he must go after that second yellow card, Stuart. Well, he really has let his teammates down. He had to be more sensible there. Straight into the meat of the penalty area. Baumgartner. Beautiful pass. Kramaric. Looking for the angle. Geiger. Useful looking ball. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Oh, moving it nicely. Chance to cross. This looks promising. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Dortmund just can't dominate the possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far.
Kramaric. Teammates in the middle. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Substitution it is for Dortmund. A chance to whip it in. Sebastian Rudi with it. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Fisted clear. Well, the keeper has it, and all is well. Well, it is now, but the striker did everything right, barring a couple of inches. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. And Bellingham in possession, Schultz. Witzel. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Holland. Axel Witzel. Can he find the net? Well, tremendous block. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And this is Royce. And now Meunier. Brandt with it. Marco Royce. Brandt. Witzel. Firing it towards goal. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. Corner fired in by Royce. Oh, a tremendous block. It hasn't come to very much. Andrei Kramaric. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. But really, the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal, but woeful defending. Back underway, and quite the story being written in this one. 3 all. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Going to get a try. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, I thought that was the game. Fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this. Christoph Baumgartner. Might be able to set up the chance, but how well he did to cut that one out. Royce. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Baumgartner. Kramaric. Determined defending. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated after 90 minutes.
Brandt. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. Superbly done. How many players would try that? It went awry for him from the penalty spot. A Paninka penalty and a brilliant goal. And off the top of the crossbar. His turn to try to convert from the spot. A chip from the spot and too much loft. A moment he dearly wishes he could have back. A goal now and his team will prevail. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, the responsibility is on his shoulders. Failure to score and they lose. In it goes. And now a heaven-sent opportunity to win the match. And he's opted for finesse, but he might be wishing he hadn't. Penalty saved! And that's the end of the story! Well, that's a good save, isn't it? He's just won the game for his team here. Brilliant stuff from the keeper.